the real world. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, he did that double. That's been the line in years past, and you saw how precise he actually put his tires there. There's Sarah. There is great. Yeah. Santa Cruz Syndicate are getting ready then. Because the next man at the top will be the greatest World Cup racer that has ever been. Three times a world champion, this man. His first world championship nearly 20 years ago. 03 in Lugano, Switzerland. 2012, he took another Golden Lear gang. And then following it up in his hometown of Peter Maritzburg in 2013. Greg Minard knows he can win this today, yeah. and that's dangerous. Yeah, everyone I've talked to, everyone I've seen just was raving about how fast Greg was going on track. Made a ton of, ton of changes to the bike. Well, he does, doesn't he? It's incredible, beautiful, rangy style, just floats into that turn. Oh, back and split number two, though, for Minard. He's strong, though. He's so strong, He's using every inch of the track. Talk about a rider who knows what the pressure feels like. Yeah, and keeps coming back for more. <laughs> Lost the abuse. Manuel's through there. Never won here in Valdesole. Has been second a couple of times, though. But carrying good pace, you can see it. And Jeez. back now within half a second, then, of Collange. So strong, this man, mentally, that you know that he can... Looks so wow, good. that was crazy through there. <laughs> so now accelerating, it looks like Minar. It's a lacquer run, bro, lacquer run. You almost get the feeling. He knows, you know, he can sense how quick he's being. And if he needs to make up time, he might well do it. The next split's going to tell us. Point four to find between splits three and four. Is Minar going to be red? He's going to be green. He's back by point three, seven then. So put in some more time back. He is quicker from split two down. This is where it all comes down. There's plenty of space to make up point three. He's so strong in the pedals, he could make that up just on that last turn alone. Sends it way massive there. off there on the inside, on the entrance to that turn. But now he's going to get on the gas here as he comes down the line. Is it going to be enough for Minard to take the lead here? You can see the red. It's yeah. going to be close. Minard goes fast. What is and the guy? crowd love that. What is he up to? How is he still doing this? How on earth did he do that? He pulled time back all the way down from split to Minar. And now South Africa and the GOAT are in the gold medal position. What a race we're seeing. Oh, man, my heart is beating. Oh, my goodness. The winner here this afternoon will be a South African or it will be a Frenchman, because there are three of them now left at the top of this mountain. That was unbelievable. Oh, Minard does not disappoint, does he? Good Lord. I just, I swear, he, you know, he talked about going to a shorter stim because he wanted to get his body position back because this track is so steep. That's what he was telling me, actually, Elliot, with the, he said when he changed the suspension, he then needed to change the cockpit. So, I mean, he's into every single facet of bike yeah. setup. And what yeah. amazes me is the fact that he actually, uh, he just absolutely loves it still. He does. So long setting bikes up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not bored of it. Uh,